Hi, everyone. I'm Heidi Murkoff, and I am so excited to welcome to our What to Expect family, fellow mom, Dr. Fatima Dawood, who has four littles of her own, beat me by two, including her very own pandemic baby, who is now five months old. In her spare time, she also happens to be an epidemiologist, a pediatrician, and medical officer in the influenza division of the CDC. And today she's here to talk about an infection that hasn't gotten as much attention over the last 20 months or so, not because it isn't serious or seriously preventable with a vaccine, but because COVID-19 has been so all-consuming um, for all of us, especially in the public health world. And of course, I am talking about the flu, influenza, and tis, tis the season to start talking about the flu so we can celebrate our holiday season safely by getting a flu vaccine. And Dr. Dawood, so many people lump colds and flus to get flu together, um, but true flu isn't your common cold, especially if you're fighting flu for two. Can you sort of sort them out for us? Right. Influenza is caused by a specific virus and influenza illness can range from mild to very severe. Um, and in particular, it's important for pregnant people to know that um, changes that occur to the body during pregnancy can actually put pregnant people at increased risk from ha uh, for having severe influenza and having complications of influenza. And of course, that's true of COVID as well. Um, so all the more reason to take these respiratory infections seriously when you're expecting. Um, so we know that pregnant women are at higher risk from complications with flu. So they're more likely to be hospitalized from flu as opposed to just having a mild case, although you might. Um, but are some at higher risk than others if they have certain comorbidities or if uh, there are certain um, demographic? So um, having underlying medical conditions is another uh, thing that places people at risk for having severe influenza. So if you're both pregnant and you have an underlying medical condition like asthma or diabetes or a heart condition, those are two reasons to go out and get an influenza vaccine this season. Great. So we're officially in flu season. But moms who are joining us might be wondering, is there a specific time during pregnancy that you should get your flu shot? Because you're going to be pregnant. If you're pregnant for nine months, you're going to be pregnant during flu season. Is there a specific trimester that you should get your flu shot or just as soon as possible? Uh, pregnant people can receive flu vaccines during any trimester pregnancy. And that's important to know. Um, so the key thing really is to get vaccinated as early in the season as possible. Um, ideally, um, you should go out and get your flu vaccine before the end of October so that you're protected when flu viruses do circulate in the community. But if you didn't manage to get out and get your vaccine by the end of October, it's still a good time to do it now that we're in November. Um, typically, flu activity peaks sometime around February. Um, so there's, this is still a great time to go out and get your vaccine um, and sometimes we see flu viruses as late as into the spring months as May. Um, so definitely a good time to get your vaccine. Earlier is better. Any time is a good time, but earlier is better. Definitely. Um, what about breastfeeding moms? Should they get a flu shot as well? And is, you know, of course, breastfeeding moms worry so much about everything that they put into their bodies, just as pregnant women do. Um, so is it safe for a nursing baby? And also does it offer um, any protection for the baby? That's a great question. Vaccine, uh, influenza vaccines are safe for breastfeeding um, people. And especially if you didn't happen to get a vaccine during your pregnancy, it's important to get one in that postpartum period when, when that person is breastfeeding, not only to protect yourself, but to protect loved ones in your home and protect your baby. Um, since your baby is too young to get a flu vaccine for themselves. We're hearing from so many pregnant women, I'm so worried about getting vaccines because of things they've read online. Can you just put a, our moms to um, at ease with the idea of rolling up their sleeves for yet another vaccine? Yes, um, certainly safety is always a concern during pregnancy. Um, what we know is that flu vaccines are effective, meaning they work really well but they're also safe 
for pregnant people. That's really important to know. There are flu vaccines have now been given to millions of people in the United States over a lot of years. Um, There are a lot of data supporting the safety of flu vaccines in general, and um, particularly during pregnancy. That's something that CDC continues to monitor every year as well. Great. Um, Now, nobody loves seeing a needle come their way. It's not like anybody's you know, top 10 things to do. Um, I was actually super excited to get my flu vaccine this year and super excited to get my COVID vaccines and my booster as well. But some people are um, squeamish when it comes to needles and they wonder, could I get the flu mist instead? That seems a little friendlier. What about for pregnant women, little ones? So during pregnancy, um, Flu mist is not an option. So um, pregnant people need to get the influenza shot or the flu shot. Um, Young children um, can get flu mist if you're six months of age and, or sorry, two years of age and older, um, you're eligible to receive flu mist. So that's something, if you're interested in that, you can talk with your healthcare provider about that option for your kids. Great. Now I've never had a reaction to a flu shot other than little achiness in the arm maybe. Um, but are there reactions that moms, uh, pregnant women especially, should look out for? Um, and are you more likely to get a reaction to a flu shot when you're pregnant? The safety profile and the, the reaction profile for influenza vaccines is pretty similar for pregnant people as it is for our people in the general community. Um, Most of the time, if someone does have um, a a mild reaction to an influenza vaccine, it is just that mild and typically lasts one to two days at most. And some common um, side effects of the flu vaccine include just what you mentioned. So some soreness or swelling at the injection site. Sometimes people will have some muscle aches or fever. Um, But again, these are generally mild and typically self-limited. They end on their own within a couple of days. And if you're pregnant, should you think about taking Tylenol for that or just wait and see? So if you ever have a concern, it's always good to talk with your healthcare provider. Um, But if you're having some achiness or or some fever after receiving your flu vaccine, it's certainly fine to take Tylenol to reduce those symptoms. Great. This is one I hear all the time. I'm sure you have as well. Um, Those who say I've never gotten a flu shot and I've never gotten the flu. Um, so why start now? What's your best case for that? Well, I think the most important reason for anyone to get a flu vaccine, whether you've received them routinely in the past or that you're considering it for the first time this season, is um, that influenza vaccines are the most effective tool we have to prevent people from getting sick with influenza. And even healthy people can become very severely ill with influenza. So if you're thinking about it, know that flu vaccines are safe, they're effective. Um, and it's important to go out and get one as soon as you can so that you are protected if we see influenza in the community this season. So others might wonder, can I get a flu vaccine um, if I've already had the flu? Or conversely, um, can the flu vaccine give you the flu? That's a myth that I've heard quite a lot. Well, for the first question, can I get a flu vaccine if I've already had the flu? Um, yes, and it's still important to get the flu vaccine. There are different types of flu strains that circulate each year. And the flu vaccine is designed to protect against the four most likely to circulate flu strains. So even if you've had flu before, you're still at risk for those other strains and you should go out and get a vaccine to be protected. Um, In terms of your second question, can the flu vaccine give you the flu? The short answer is no. Um, Flu vaccines do not have a live virus that can cause infection and can cause flu illness. Um, The flu shot is actually made from inactivated virus, meaning killed virus, um, or a single protein from a flu virus. And so it can't cause you to get infected with influenza. It can't cause you to have influenza. And even if you're not pregnant, for example, and you choose to get the nasal spray that we were talking about earlier, Um, those vaccines contain inactivated virus. So they're weakened viruses, again, that cannot cause you to get influenza. One thing we hear about a lot is a concern that there is mercury in the flu shot used as a preservative. Um, And of course, pregnant women, nursing moms, parents worry about anything 
that could be, you know, a toxic metal in their body. So can you give us some reassurance on that front? Certainly. Um, so some flu vaccines do contain a trace, meaning a really small amount of thimerosal. Um, there are a lot of studies that show that that very small amount causes no harm at all. Um, for anybody who does have a concern about getting a flu vaccine with thimerosal in it, there are also thimerosal-free vaccines. So um, that is an option. And, and if that's something that you're interested in, again, talk with your healthcare provider, but know that there are options out there available. I love that you keep mentioning that because that's always my top advice is to talk to your healthcare provider if you have any questions at all about anything, but especially about vaccine safety. So when I get a COVID-19 vaccine and a flu vaccine at the same time, um, what do you say about that? Uh, yes, you can. Um, so if the timing coincides and you need to get both vaccines, there's no need to wait on one or the other. Um, you can certainly get both at the same time. And it's important for people to know there are two different vaccines protecting against two different illnesses. So if you've gotten one vaccine, but not the other, you do need to go out and get that other vaccine. So if you got your COVID vaccine this year, you still need your flu vaccine. And so if you're pregnant, it's safe to get them both at the same time. It is. And it's probably, you know, when in Rome, you're already sleeves rolled up, you might as well go for it. You're not likely to have more side effects because you've gotten two vaccines at once. Um, the side effects remain the same, the same ones that we talked about earlier. So definitely a good idea to get, if you need both, go ahead and get both. And what about if you're scheduled for the Tdep vaccine, which protects um, against pertussis, among other things, uh, or whooping cough, and it's really important for pregnant women to get with with every pregnancy. Um, I know you did with all four, uh, because when a baby is born, they need that, that immunity towards um, pertussis, because they're too young to get vaccinated themselves. So could you, if you're planning to get the flu vaccine, but you're scheduled for the Tdap, could you get those at the same time? You can, you can get both of those vaccines at the same time as well. I guess I'm pushing my luck, but should you get all three at the same time? Um, yes, you can. And again, as always, talk with your healthcare provider if you have any concerns, but um, yes, you can get all of those vaccines at the same time. That's great to know. So last year, very few people seemed to get sick with the flu, or at least we didn't hear about it. Um, there wasn't a lot of serious illness. Uh, was that because of the strain of the flu that was uh, circulating, or was that more because we were all wearing masks and staying home? Um, last season certainly was an unusual season for flu activity. We saw very little flu in the United States, um, and there are likely several contributing factors to that. Some possibilities are people were staying at home more. They were wearing masks, as you mentioned. Um, people were practicing other preventive measures like hand hygiene and staying home if they were ill. So all of those things potentially could have contributed to seeing less flu last season. Um, but we also know that flu is very unpredictable and we don't know what we're going to see this season. Um, CDC is certainly preparing for the possibility that we will see flu activity, especially with things opening up and more people um, mixing socially again, and perhaps not um, practicing preventive measures in the same ways they did last season. So um, even though last season was an unusual season with less flu activity, it's still important to get vaccinated this year since flu can circulate. Is there anything else you'd like to share about getting the flu shot for two? I think I, I just want to leave everyone with the, you know, two important reasons to get flu vaccine. So the first is getting flu vaccine during pregnancy protects you um, during your pregnancy. Um, but the second, which I think is a very compelling reason as a mom, as a pediatrician, as someone who got the flu vaccine during my pregnancies, I found particularly compel compelling is getting the flu vaccine actually can protect your baby as well during those first few months. Um, young babies under the age of six months, as we were talking about before, can't get a flu vaccine. And there are a lot of data now showing that um, when pregnant people get the vaccine, they pass those antibodies onto their baby, and that actually provides protection for them during those early months. So two important and good reasons to go out and get your vaccine if you haven't already in your pregnant this year. Well, thank you, uh, Dr. Dawood. I certainly have gotten my flu vaccine, and I hope all you 
moms and dads and and grandparents um, go out and get yours as well. Let's all stay healthy. Thank you so much. Thank you.